What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of Chillin' with Jay. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back. I finally got excursion at the house right now, you guys. Getting ready to tear off all the tent. I started last night. I told this one off. I like, man, let me slow down. Cause I wanna record this. So I'ma start tearing off all the tent. Get all the tent redone. He ain't dark enough to me. We're gonna do it like the Bronco. Blacked out. Black out all the way around, even the front window. I don't know, man. I'm debating you guys, man. I don't know what I should do about this uh this plastic molding that's going around the truck, man. I wanna take it off, man. Cause the gray that I'm painting the truck, I'm like, man, that ain't gonna look right. Cause the truck gonna be gray and black, everything. So I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to take the mold off or do I want to put the mold back on. I tried to picture it in my head, gray on gray, but it's like, I don't think it's going to look right. And then with me, um, with me, um, having the truck like this with the black and the gray, it's like, it fit it better if it's two-tone. But I'm like, if I paint that gray and then paint that black, I feel like that's going to be too much black. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think, man. I think I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to get them to go ahead and paint it anyways. And if I decide to put it on later, I'll put it on later. I'm talking about this piece right here. This piece. This piece. Piece that go here. And the piece that go here. I'm going to change these though. I'm going to change these out. I love them being on there because they got these lights on the ends. But I'm going to change them out to all metal. Take those out to all metal. I'm going to pull off the scourging pieces. Everything must come off. Getting ready to go to paint man. Everything must come off. Today I want to pull out this carpet and I want to take out this tent. Y'all see the doors? Going to drop these off also. Drop the doors off to get a uh, wrap. Going to get them leather wrap to match the seats. I think this is the passenger side. You, if you looked at this door, you'll be like, "Why the hell did somebody cut that big old hole out?" Let me get you guys to visualize it better. If you guys seen on the last video, the update or the excursion. That's how it's supposed to look. Then all we gotta do is wrap it, put the speakers in, put the screen on, and she's ready to go. Don't dirty my leather or my pleather. He go to the passenger side, looking ugly. Gotta get her done. Go drop these off. Get them wrapped up. I was thinking about doing it myself, man. To be honest with you, man, I could do all this stuff, man. I took carpentry class in school. I believe I could do that jump, man, for real. What y'all think? I believe I can do that, man. It's not hard. I don't watch them boys do this stuff a thousand times. I think I could do it, man. I think I'm gonna do the El Camino myself. I think I'm gonna do the El Camino myself, man. I believe I can do it. Go in the house and get a trash bag so I can start taking this tin off. 
All right, you guys, back at it, man. I had to go get one of those special Walmart bags, man. I believe when you go grocery shopping and you get these bags, you're paying for them too. So we're going to reuse them. Come in handy, boy. All right, let's get started. Pulling this tent off, man. But like I say, man, I'm waiting on other people right now. Because if it was up to me, I'd try to have these cars done in 30 days. But I'm waiting on other people, man. So it's a process of waiting on them. But other than that, man, I should have been down with this scourge. I should have been working on the, uh, that El Camino right now. But a little setback, man. Just a little setback. That's all. Well, I see this bad wonder. Ain't even gonna play with me. Look how it's peeling off. That one day ain't even having. All right, you guys. I had to go get some window cleaner. I ain't want to scratch the glass. Cause this one to seem like it don't want to act right. See that that window glass cleaner, boy. You get it done. I'm taking this off myself because I'm saving like $95. Because when the guy did the Bronco, he charged me an extra $95 to take the old tin off. So I'm like, man, I'm going to do it. In the next car I bring in, I'm going to just do it myself. I'm going to also do the L350. I want to change the tent. I had some guy do it, man, that I've been dealing with for years, man. But... I believe the tent he be using cheap, man. That junk don't last long, man. You can see right in my truck, man. I don't like that. I want it to be dark, dark. Just like the Bronco. And then the guy gave me a lifetime warranty. And if anything wrong, he said, just bring it back. I got you, Jay. I said, that's all I need to hear. So, like I said, I'm gonna pull all this tent off save a couple of dollars because the music already expensive alone I want to show you guys my rims probably do that later on show you the rims that I have for it if I got time I'll show you guys the rims I had to wait on the adapters to get ordered For the rims to get put on but we also got other setbacks that I don't even want to sit here and explain right now because it's aggravating the hell out of me that's the real reason why we ain't done but once that come in the mail we'll be good to go everything else will fall in place and we can get this project done. This is more of my easier projects. Cause it ain't like we had to put a motor in, a transmission in. We ain't have to do no rust work and all that extra stuff. This is basically a clean truck to start with. That's what you want to do, get you something that's pretty clean and decent. And if you can avoid, try to get something with got good insides. If you get you something with good insides, you can avoid paying the interior man and waiting on them to do your interior. Get you something with a good inside. But I already knew 
This being a Ford Excursion 2000, I already knew the seats was gonna look crappy, cause all of them do. I never seen a Ford Excursion with clean seats in them. They always look like that. If you guys watched the, book, the first video, when I first got the Excursion, how the seats looked at at first, they always look like that. Trash. I was trying to get the original seats from a guy that had some, but he wanted more than me just redoing them. He wanted $3,500 for the seats. So I'm like, nah, I just redo the seats. It's cheaper to redo them. That's what we end up doing, man. I don't love them, but I like them. They're better than what I had. But for the price I paid, I couldn't beat it. So that's why I did it. So they came out pretty decent. But enough talking. This is where we start to fast forward the video. Cause this is gonna be a process.
I'm on the last wonder. Got this little piece to do. Man, I got attacked by damn answers, man. It still feel like they bite me. But this is the last piece of the wonders, man. I made a mistake and bought the I bought the scraper. This is the right tool to use, but I got the small one. I needed the big one. If I had the big one, this would have been quicker. But it took me forever to do the driver wonder. But I'm getting it done. Just a little piece there. Couple pieces up here. Trying to get it done. That way I say $90, $95. Oh, when I was doing that driver wonder, well, I was finna say, boy, he can have them $95. Cause I'm still trying to figure out how the hell I'ma do them side wonders. Them side wonders finna whoop my behind. Even the back wonder. Cause the back one, the horizontal, well, up in the air. So this gonna be hard to do, man. Trying to scrape in the air. These got scrape on the side, climb in here. But we gotta get it done, boy. I'm ready to be over with this project, man. This project should have been done, man. I'm ready to finish this, man. So let me hop back into it.
All right, you guys, we got the third row seat out. Finna get ready to take this carpet out. We got to take the spare tire out because the box that we got for the full 12s, we kind of went all the way with it. So this tire got to come out and I found the penny. Every penny counts. Remember that. So I'm going to um, take these floor mounts out. We got four floor, floor mounts. Take that out. Take this carpet out. This is going to be the easiest part. Uh, the second row and the third row. We got to take all that out to take the seats out. So let's get started. Alright you guys. We got the four floor mounts out. Now we got to do the spare tie. And we can call this a job well done. We can take this back piece of carpet out and put the new in. Out with the old and with the new. All right, we got the spare tie. So that works out perfect, man, cuz we got three batteries and we ain't know where the hell they was going to go. So we could put two batteries right here and we found the Sharpie. Yes, sir. You know how much these cost. So back into it, man. Gonna get ready to pull out. All right, you guys, man, my wife don't cleaned it up. Got the left side clean. Please leave your message for Got the right side clean. Took that pound off, got everything cleaned up. Got the flow cleaned up. Clean, clean. I ain't want to put the carpet down until it was spotless. You don't want them to be, damn, what's that smell? So we scrubbed the hell out. Look at all the cleaning products. God, late back and cleaning everything, even the water bottle. <laughs> Had to scrub it, but it's ready to go now. Gonna start laying a new carpet, man. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Alright you guys, we got the padding in. Cut all the holes. Man, this is a real process, man. I was ready to quit when I started. So now, we cut a little, like a two inches off each side. I think that was her side, it's cricket. No, uh-uh. So we got to cut this right here. This got to be cut too. See, we got right to, we got to be right here. Okay. So we're gonna have to Put on mark. mark it and cut that too. Mm -hmm. We're trying to copy the old carpet. Let me show you guys the old carpet. The old carpet, the padding is just like in the middle. It don't go to the edges. So we're trying to copy that. We're not putting these holes back because I'm not mounting the mounts back on the floor. So we just got these holes for the third row seat. So far, looking good. So we're going to get ready to cut this piece. That way it'll be all even. All the way around. Then we can put the carpet in on the back half. Because that front half is going to be another project. That sounds like another whole nother day. So let me get back into it. You guys, we got the pattern in here cut. Got that back piece cut. Gonna get ready to drop this carpet.
battery's dying. The other one charged. Okay, pause it or? No, they did it. We need it. Yeah, you can cut it off. Alright you guys, we got it in man. Tell me what y'all think. Look professional. We just gotta uh, vacuum it right now. Look good. She looking good, she looking good. Yes sir. Bronco coming along. I'm like Bronco. God damn, I got too many calls. Ford Excursion boy, it's coming boy. Tell me what you guys think. Alright you guys, we got the third row seat back in there. Got everything buttoned back up. As you know earlier, that was tore up. I ended up gluing it back, cleaned it up. She came out decent. Man, this truck was filthy, man. This truck was horrible. It took us all day just to do this part. Because we spring clean the main the main floor of the truck the metal we scrubbed it it was filthy so we had to scrub that then we had to cut the padding then we had to cut the carpet because it had like humps in it it was loose i wanted it tight look at it boy that jump look professional yes sir do it yourself i'm telling you boy do it yourself man You wouldn't believe if I told you, man, my wife did this. That joker clean. But we got the seat back in there now. It look good. Give y'all a different angle. Go to the passenger side. I mean, driver side. It look good, boy. Carpet look good. It look good. Yeah, this the other part we got to tackle. Boy, 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 that's a whole nother level right here, boy. We got to tackle this side. But as y'all can see, you can see why I was changing it. Horrible. But we getting there, we getting there, man. We getting there, man. The process is getting there. Getting there. Nothing but a process, but we getting there. Oh, my wife ended up cleaning the doors right here. This material. She cleaned both sides. And see on the back doors, it didn't have the white and the yellow. It actually, I mean, the white and the red, it actually had the whole red piece on it. So since the front doors had the music going on it, I end up just popping the red ones off, putting those on, so that worked out perfect. I ain't got to order them. See that one on that side, passenger side, driver side. So that saved a couple dollars. Then we got to scrub these. These for the back doors. We're gonna scrub them. I don't know, man. I might end up. I might end up putting two tens here and a horn. A two tens, a tweeter and a horn. I don't know, man. I haven't decided yet. But we got to clean them up, man. They dirty. Clean both sides up. But she coming along, though. We are gonna clean it, though. I'm gonna show y'all the best tools to use, boy. It's the best tool to have when you're cleaning the carpet. Well, even the plastic pieces. This drill. Go get you a drill from Harbor Freight. And this, well, this piece here, it comes with a set. It comes with a brush like this one, brush like that, and a bigger brush. It's a bigger brush like this. It's three in a pack, man. I got that from uh, AutoZone. And, man, that thing do numbers, man. Look how the plastic came clean. Look at the plastic, man. Look all in the cup holder, cleaned all that fresh. See all the plastic, man? 
it cleaned that plastic good. All I did was spray that Clorox on there. Took that drill. <laughs> got it done. Yes, sir. Boy, she clean. We scraped off all the tent, man. It still look like I got tent on it. That's crazy, though. This wonder and the back wonders, it still look like tent on, tent on it. So I'm like, damn. So it's just going to be darker once we put the new tent on there. So, look. That's crazy, ain't it? Still look like I got tent. So we got all the tent off. Getting ready to put that new new on. And like I said, man, you guys comment below. Let me know what y'all think, man. You think I should leave the skirts on or, or take them off? I'm talking about these pieces right here. But I'm, I'm going to let the guy end up painting them anyway. So if I decided to put them on or take them back off, I have them already painted. Those two pieces go on the doors. But I kind of like it without it, though, man. I just got to unscrew that front piece and that back piece. I kind of like it without it. And uh, the four, em I mean the excursion emblem, I'm going to cover these holes up and I ain't even going to put excursion back on it. Uh, my grill should be in, man. I decided not to go with the original grill. I decided to go with the Ford grill. I got Ford right here. It's, white. it's all black. So I'm going to leave the whole grill black and only paint Ford silver. Well, gray like the truck. And then I got the blackout headlights, all this blacked out, and uh, blackout, uh, blacked out uh, brake lights. So she coming along, man. We're getting it done, man. All right, guys. Until tomorrow, man. We got to do that front piece. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Until tomorrow, peace. All right, you guys. Day two, man. I'm tired as hell. I just got home. I only went to sleep for about three hours. But anyways, we finna get back at it. Gotta pull out this front carpet. So we're gonna take the seats out. Driver, passenger, middle console out. And then take out the middle seat. Get this last piece out. The excursion is so big that it comes in two separate pieces we finished the back yesterday came out real nice now it's time to do the front finna get back into it all right you guys man i had to go to harbor Freight and get some tools man I don't bought like five of these I, every time I lose something. So I said, man, I'm going to just go ahead and get another one. I ain't had a tool to take the seat out. Just take the star. The seat take the star wrench. Well, star socket. And I ain't have a big enough star socket. Take this big ass screw off. So... We got it, man. Let's get it done. All right, you guys. I got the second row of the seat out. I was trying to record, but it wasn't no really. It wasn't really no well for me to put the camera to get a good angle, so you guys can see. This damn seat was heavy as hell, man. Not damn out of breath. So I got the two front seats loose. In the front front, but uh, in the back, I got to take three more screws out. I got room to set up the camera now, you guys. So, let's get this process done, man.
guys have got all the seats out. I'm gonna get ready to take that middle console out. Pop all these steps out. Up there pretty much, it don't even go all the way up there. So we should be good. It doesn't even go all the way up, so we good up there. So we gotta get this out. Pop these up. Then we good to go. Let's get back into it. Ain't nothing to do it but do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. All right, you guys, we got that out. Pop these up. Get me a screwdriver. Wait, maybe I can do it with my hand. Nah, let's get a screwdriver. We don't want to break them. If I wasn't so busy at work, to be honest with you, I'd do my whole truck by my damn self. I'd do this whole truck by myself, but I don't have time. I'd rather just pay somebody to do it. That way, you know what I'm saying, I'm making more money while somebody else doing it, and I'm also helping somebody out by, you know what I'm saying, getting them work. You feel me? But I could have did my own truck. My wife wanted to do the interior so bad. She said, babe, just buy the machine. I'll do the interior. I'm like, nah. She know how to sew, though. I'm going to buy one still, though. I'm going to try. But we still got about eight, eight more projects. Supposed to be going to... uh. Orange Park Monday I got a new truck bill I ain't gonna tell you guys just yet cuz if I explain it to you you ain't gonna know what the hell I'm talking about so I'd rather just show you guys than sit here and explain to you guys that way you can understand the project a little bit better so I'm supposed to be going to Orange Park to pick up this truck bed for this truck bill on this truck that I'm building. But for right now, man, let's get this excursion done. Should have been done. 
like I say guys it be out of my hands man I be waiting on other people be waiting on other people All right, you guys, I just got off the phone with the music man, and he was just telling me, uh, bro, it don't make sense to put the carpet back in, the seats back in, and he got to wire all the music up. So I'm like, all right. So this video has to be continued. So as of right now, we got that back piece done, but the front gonna have to wait. I'm going to just put the driver's seat back in and leave it like this and take it back up there to him. He says he's going to wire it up on Tuesday. Today is Monday. I mean, today is Friday. He's going to wire it up on Tuesday. So, I'm going to just leave it like this. And like I say, man, follow the channel. Chilling with Jay. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. We're out.